<clears throat> I'm tired and don't ask me why. I'm not gonna get a picture of my ex. Good morning YouTube and today's gonna be a little bit different style of a video. I guess more just like a vlog type video. Uh, let me know if you like this more or doing lately. So I've got a lot of get done today. So uh, we're gonna try our best to get everything done, obviously. Uh, but I don't know if I'll make it. So uh, today's plan is get some work done on the C10. Uh, as you can see, I've put some wheel spacers on it. Uh, it looks pretty sweet. My roll pan, I need to do some body work there and cover up that weld. Uh, same on this side, if my camera will focus. Uh, yesterday, I uh, done some body work where my antenna was. I uh, just bonded over it and then sanded it, painted it. Uh, this truck is getting a new paint job in the spring, so looking forward to that. Uh, still needs a lot of work. Dash is being built right now. Uh, fender flares on the rear. Um, dash is going to be painted black. It's a tubular style dash. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But I need to get some wheels painted. So we're going to go in here and get some wheels first of all. Alright, so please excuse this mess. As you can tell, I have a ton of wheels in here and a ton of junk. This is not my building, but these are some 20 inch Range Rover wheels. They're going on a 3 Series BMW. Uh, these are the wheels that I need to paint. These are stock OEM, I believe 16 inch BMW wheels. Uh, so those are going gloss black today, hopefully. Those are the wheels that are off of my C10 that I bought for it just about two months ago. And I had changed my mind on them, so those are for sale if you know anybody that wants them. Those are uh, five by five, lug pattern, zero offset, uh, 20 by nine. And the tires are a Turo AZ850 for, uh, they have 275, 40, 20s on them. Uh, I really do like the wheel combination, but I just didn't like how it turned out on my truck. So those are like new if anybody is interested in buying those. also need to get in this building uh, so I need to move this car first uh, this is the beginning of my little paint booth top deal and it doesn't have any locks on it yet so we got to go get the key the coolest thing about this car is you don't need to actually unlock it you can just oh wait I didn't even push that button okay I guess you just get close to it and then you can get in, out, smash my leg in the door, and then without putting any keys in, you just press the start button. Voila, you don't have to take a key out of your pocket. Why wasn't that invented a long time ago? Oh yeah, look at that ass. Bam. 
Well, sorry for the mess once again, but here's my dash and oh, it looks like we have a leak in the roof. Shit. Um, anyways, here's my dash. Uh, it's a work in progress, obviously. Uh, all this was sheet metal and to give it a nice smooth finish, I started bondoing it yesterday. So it has about a very, very thin layer of bondo on it. Um, and then here's where my air vent's going to go on that side and then it'll be the same on this side. Um, I am going to make both of these removable. This one's currently tacked in, tack welded in. And uh, air controls, DVD, uh, CD player. So both of these will be removable, even though I will have my two gauges here. Um, I might put my other four gauges down this. I'm not sure yet, but I made this out of the same thing uh, most roll cages are built out of. Uh, it's actually 9.095 wall, uh, one and a half inch uh, tubing. Uh, and then the rest is just sheet metal. So we'll see how that turns out when I get done with it, but it turn, should turn out just fine. It's going to go gloss black. Uh, it's a BMW color actually, the same color I'll be spraying today. What are you doing, orange boy? You look like you're having lots of fun. I just want to go ahead and spray these off with some compressed air to get rid of all that loose dust from sanding uh, that we we used uh, 320 on these so they're ready to spray as you can see I'm just using some regular masking tape to uh, go ahead and tape up around this whole wheel and then I will later take some bigger wider tape and put over the rest of the tire so that I don't waste so much of this and it's a lot faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these two wheels. So pro tip, take you two trash bags, then fold them up into a fourth, cut the corner out, then you have a hole like this, and then cut those two, or cut each one in half. So then you end up with four of these. Then, you can just take this, stretch it out, and put it around the lip of this wheel and tape it in place. Uh, pro tip, don't listen to everything you say, uh, see on YouTube. Um, but it probably would have worked if this wheel actually had a lip for that bag to uh, go up. After future reference, I'll know. Well, FedEx came and Truck gets a new steering wheel today. Uh, shout out to Jared, uh, Jer uh, Jared Roberts uh, for trading me steering wheels. Finally got here today because UPS, uh, no, not UPS, FedEx lost it. And here it is. So let's see it. good looks really good not sure if the camera's picking up on this but it's very shiny and I don't know it just it has a very very nice feel to it heck yeah so here's my air compressor it's uh, I think it's a homemade honestly but it's 30 gallons and that's what we want to use the paint with So, while that's draining, uh, you definitely always want to drain your water traps anytime that you paint. Anytime because there's always a crap ton of water in mine. Uh, it probably could be because it's not that good of a compressor either. And it's really old, but oh well. 
Hello. What's up? What are you doing? I'm hungry. Me too, but I gotta paint. Uh, yeah, sure. Merry Christmas. Oh, yay. You didn't even put two in front of one. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's to the cat from me. Oh, the cat's getting a tattoo? <laughs> yes. $150 tattoo for a cat going to cover his whole body. <laughs> <laughs> so to get these wheels perfectly prepped for paint, after you sand them with 320 and mask them off, of course, you're going to want to use some wax and grease remover and a really clean microfiber and go ahead and clean them off as good as you possibly can. All right, so the, the paint that I'm using today is Nason and this will be uh, a BMW color, code 668 in case anybody wants to use it and the year is 2011. And uh, let's see, it's called Jet Black 2. This is the blackest black gloss black with no metallics or anything in it that you can buy. So that's what we're going to do our BMW wheels with and my Chevrolet truck. Trusty Harbor Freight spray gun and also has this uh, little plastic filter on it. I use those about twice before I change them. Now we're ready to spray. Make sure you always wear a respirator. It's not good to get this stuff all up in your lungs. Now we're ready to spray. So as you can see, base coat, base coat dries extremely quick. Uh, you can see that this one is already almost dry and just about ready for a new coat. Um, but this is the coverage you should be looking for on your first coat. You can see it only covered about 40%, maybe even less. But take your time with it and you're going to end up with a perfect result. So here's the third coat of base, looking pretty good. As you can see, it's more of a satin color instead of a gloss, but all that will change once we put clear on it. These wheels are gonna look brand new from factory. So now it's time for some clear coat. 498, dries a little bit faster than 496. And this is a one to four mix ratio. Once again, give it a good old shake. Now for the clear.
Now that shine is perfect. And that's just only one, one coat of clear. Put three coats of clear total. And we want to have a perfect finish. Stay tuned. Oh, there they are dry. See, that looks amazing. This is the, the best looking black I've ever seen. It looks, it looks, it looks like chrome, almost, because it's so reflective. See you guys next video.